Hello friends, this is Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel. So friends, in today's video, we'll discuss about flat slab. So I guess you have heard this term before. So basically, what is flat slab and what is the difference between flat slab and ordinary RCC slab and what are the advantages of using this flat slab? We'll discuss it all in today's videos. So stay tuned. So to begin with, let's start with the definition. What do you mean by a flat slab? The term flat slab means reinforced concrete slabs with or without drops generally supported without beams by column with or without flared column heads. So this definition is as per IS 456 it basically means that in a flat slab there will be no concrete beams. So all the loads will be taken directly by your columns and the columns may have some ends or heads. So this is what is mentioned in this particular definition. So we'll move forward, we'll do a brief comparison between the flat slab and ordinary RCC slabs so that we can understand this flat slab better. So let's start. So to see the comparison. Now as in the picture you can see this is a normal RCC slab which is supported by beams. So we have the slab here, the load of the slab is transferred to the the beams and then the column carries the load of the slab as well as the beams so the, as you can see here this is a normal RCC slab now this is a flat slab now as you can see here we have a slab here we don't have any beam and this uh, column flares or the column capitals which mentioned in the definition so this is the column this is the particular column and this is the slab and the load of the slab is directly taken by your columns. So how is it different from normal RCC slab? So let's discuss. In a flat slab system, slab is supported by the columns. So the load of the slab is directly transferred to the column. Whereas in the case of a normal slab, the load of the slab is transferred to the beams and then to the columns. So, the load of both slab and beams is conveyed to columns and footings. Second point is that in flat slab, the areas of connection of slab with column is usually thickened or heavily reinforced in comparison to normal slab as a considerable amount of shear force or the punching shear is generated as a column acts to punch the load through the flat slab. So, it basically means that at the positions of the intersection or the junction of the column and the slab a punching shear is generated so to compensate for that punching shear we have to provide heavy reinforcement or extra reinforcement mesh at the positions of intersections of your columns and slab or you have to thicken that particular area so this is one difference between flat slab and your normal rcc conventional slab the next thing is the clear height available between two floors is more in case of flat slab so these particular beams which take some particular height of your floor this is not in the case of flat slab as we don't have any beams here so there is the clear to so the clear floor to floor height is maintained is higher in case of flat slab also if we can see in this picture as you can see there are no beams the depth of the beam which lessens the floor to floor height is not there and so the clear height available is more so the minimum thickness minimum slab thickness in flat slab is 125 mm whereas in RCC slab generally the slab thickness used for roof is 100 mm and for kitchen counter luggage slab it's almost 75 mm so basically the minimum thickness of flat slab as per IS code IS456 mentioned is 125 mm whereas in RCC slab we have thickness of 7500 so we take various thicknesses in the RCC slab so this is a major difference between these two flat slab and normal RCC slab so what are the advantages of using flat slab so why do you use those particular flat slab less construction time so why the less construction time the speed of construction is fast due to the simplification and lessening of form work in comparison to normal slab so the form work in your flat slab is simple and saving your construction time room layout flexibility so as we know that any room can be placed when by the use of partition walls and the, below the partition wall there should be a particular beam but in the case of flat slab we can provide 
your walls or partition walls anywhere. We don't need to provide any beams underneath it. So it provides flexibility to the architect or the designer, which is called room layout flexibility. The next point is your framework, which we had already discussed that the framework is simple and lesser quantity of your framework is used. So this is a major advantage. It will also save your cost. The next point is reinforcement. Prefabricated welded mesh can be used, which reduces installation time and provides better quality control. So in the case of flat slabs, you can use prefabricated welded mesh, which can be manufactured at shop and it reduces installation time and also provides better quality control. Reinforcement placing as the rebar detailing is simple. So the reinforcement placing is very easy in the case of your flat slab. So the next point is reduction in building height. So this thing we already had discussed as there is no beam. So we get more clear floor to floor height and there is no requirement of your false ceiling. So friends, this was all for your advantages of your flat slab. And in this particular video, we discussed what is flat slab and what is the comparison between your normal RCS slab and flat slab and also what are the advantages of your flat slab. So friends, see you in the next video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe because if you find anything interesting and if you learn something new from our channel, you should share with others because sharing is caring and please also comment which topics you are interested in because we go through each and every comment you do and we try to incorporate in our further videos. Bye bye.